just to try and open that area up. And of course, that's the reflexology area for the chest. Heart's more on the left, but there's a little bit of reflexology. There's some reflexology systems on the right as well, because the heart basically sits on your left side, but it comes over a little bit. But yeah. So to me, this all showing on chest like this. Again, I don't want to overstimulate too much, you know. Even though you promise not to have a heart attack. But it's still really good form to get all this out. So again, I'm just coming in. I'm stretching the toes back so I can get into here more because it's really hard to get in here with his toes and his claw foot kind of. So I'm, I'm straightening them, then pushing that point out, and then going in there. And that's when it's really So it works really sensitive on the top side before it's that works. Yeah. yeah. He probably can't speak right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be offended. Or if he swears at you. <laughs> Do you ever, um, while you're doing this, like, you know, say to the person it's okay to like if, if you know that they're not actually expressing them, they're out. Oh yeah, I do. You do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. With him, I figure he's been in here a couple of days, and yeah. he probably knows that he's mm. sorry, allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to distract him because he's thinking about something right now. Yeah. Do you want to breathe? Yeah, he's trying to breathe. <laughs> so so tight through here, unbelievable. So the thing is with him is you could do all this stuff right and do it really light, and it doesn't hurt him at all. And it's just totally ineffective. It's not going to do anything. So you really don't have much choice with him. You either get in and be effective and it's going to hurt him a lot, but just within what he can handle, or you do nothing. And you just, or you do like, you could kind of moderate it. On his big toe, you could kind of moderate it and be a little bit effective. But in here, to me, it feels like you're either effective or you're not. And once you're effective, it's really, it's so intense for him. So, Yeah, no pain, no good pain, no gain, is what I like to say, because something can be confused. You hear a little crack there. Here I'm just moving the foot around again just to get a bit more.
Again, I'll let him breathe just to relax a bit because we're stirring up a bit. I don't want too much, especially with the heart attack situation. So I'll let him sort of just catch up. Because this is just, even the ankle, see the ankle movement that we've got here? It's very limited. Yeah. Must be good ankles. What's that? Must be good ankles, it's not a bit chunky. They yeah, but there's a lot of tightness that's holding. If you feel, you feel a lot of resistance. Yeah, you can see it. You can yeah. see the resistance when you're well, The it's more, the more ankles you start to twist, the more you see the variations. Yeah. And the more you can get, kind of get a feel on what the angles are and how it's shifting around. Mm. So with him, it's not that the bones are necessarily in the, you know, it's a, there's so much tightness there. So now I'm going to give him a bit of a change and let him work on the foot like this. And again, see what I'm doing is I'm supporting, I'm giving him padding yeah. under the front of his foot. So this is almost similar to the walking on the feet, really. And this is why it's actually a lot easier to do this with walking on the feet. But because I'm wanting to vary things, I'm still wanting, I don't want to keep getting him on and off the table. So this is a way I can get like a mild version of walking on the feet. Plus I can use the point of my elbow. So that's more pointed than my big toe. But I'm only getting a certain percentage of my body weight in here. But that's still probably quite effective for him. Can you still feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Notice the quick, quickness in his hands. <laughs> Still trying to see if I can get some more movement in the toes. Yeah, so you can see things are, it's like things are letting go. But again, I'm paying attention to his increasing breath rate. So as I get in there, and see this is stuff you can't really do with your feet. And then I want him to calm down. So I stir it up. Make sure you're breathing. How you feeling? Good. Good. So it will really waste my thumbs to do a lot of movements like this with him, unfortunately. So I have to like use as many other techniques as I can. Do you ever use like a, a round piece of tin to try and yeah, get into that so yeah. can use that? Yeah. yeah. So what I call the sandwich. <laughs> you want to see that in the video? <laughs> and again, I'm just going to let him calm down and absorb that. So I don't want to stir up too much where it's putting pressure on it. How's it feeling? Good. Good. More little bones clicking in the place. And again, coming back into these pressure points that he finds a little bit slightly uncomfortable. And then moving him like that as well. You see, it almost makes my hands cramp and so tight in there. So what I'm going to do now is I can, I can feel my hands are there. Limit, I'm going to come up and do some other work on his leg. 
Yeah, so from the point of view of giving my hands a rest and the point of view of giving his foot a little rest, I'm going to come up and whatever tension I have been able to get out of this foot, I should be able to get out of here. So if I've got 5 or 10% out, I'll get 5 or 10% out of those legs. So it gives my hands a rest from that particular series of movements. So these ones are quite different. And it gives his foot a little time, which I'm sure you're quite grateful to have a little rest on your foot. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use the word have a break. People can misinterpret that. <laughs> a lot of tension here in the calf as well. But again, you know, I'm not trying to, I can feel the tension, but I know some of it's going to be anchored here, so I'm not trying to force it all out. But I do want to get some of that out. Again, I'm just trying to find that exact point that you can just breathe into without him tightening up against me. And again, this is quite a a hand-saving way to do this, okay, on a bigger guy. No, you wouldn't do this on most people, but see, I'm having, see the, what, yeah. what I'm having to exert? Yeah, yeah. If I do that through the trim, I'm going to be very exhausted and my arm's going to be tired. Whereas this way, yeah, you can relax. I'm just relaxing, yeah. Could even have a cup of tea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get a bit of aromatherapy every time. <laughs> 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 Flavor your tea with. <laughs> then I'm just going to come in. Again, this ball of the calf muscle, I'm not trying to really dig into it so hard. I just want to see how much of it's going to let go with just a simple rubbing over. Because I know the roots of it are still there in his feet. I certainly haven't got the roots of that tension out. But some of it might let go because I've got some of it out. So I'm not going really hard in here. How's that pressure for you? Yeah, that's it's light. Yeah. Now what I want to do is come from, see how I'm sort of bending his foot up like this. This will enable me to get into the roots of this muscle. Now when you look at the lower leg of the cow, there's one big muscle up here, 